In 2.6, we're going to be looking at modeling linear functions. Um, use a bad word here. We're going to be looking at more word problems. But hopefully, with some introduction and process, we can all get in the right place to deal with any given problem that we have. Um, so just kind of an introduction to this. When we're looking at modeling, we're looking at identifying changes in quantities and then defining descriptive variables to represent those quantities. When appropriate, sketch a picture or define a coordinate system. So read the problem over. Look at what information you have. Maybe sketch a picture. Look for information that provides values for the variables or values for part of the functional model, such as slope or initial value. Determine what we're trying to find. Identify, solve, interpret. What is it asking? Identify a solution, pathway from the provided information of what we're trying to find. Often this will include checking and tracking units, building a table, or even finding a formula for the function being used to model it. When needed, write a formula. Solve or evaluate using that formula. Reflect on whether your answer is reasonable for the given situation and whether it makes sense mathematically. Clearly convey your result using appropriate units and answer in full sentences when necessary. So the biggest help that I can help you with these modeling linear functions is, you know, draw a picture if need be, pull out valuable information, always, always go back and read it. Did you answer it fully? You might get x equal to 4. What does 4 mean? What is it asking in the problem? Make sure you answer it fully. So just kind of some process to go along with this. How to, given a word problem that includes two pairs or input and output values, use the linear function to solve a problem. So first we're going to identify the input and output values. Maybe make a list of the values it gives us. We're going to convert the data to two coordinate pairs. Look familiar? Find slope. So we can't forget our handy dandy slope formula. Write the linear model. Use the model to make a prediction by evaluating the function at a given x value. Use the model to identify an x value that results in a given y value. Answer the question posed. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure you have fully answered the question. So I want to do some examples with you, and you can use these as you're kind of working through the homework. And let's make sure we can kind of clearly pull information out and see what we're working with. Now, we've been working with linear functions this whole way. So let's see if we can now apply them and model with them. In 1991, the moose population in a park was measured to be 4,570. Well, that's a lot of moose. By 1996, the population was measured again to be 5,520. If the population continues to change linearly, find a formula for the moose population, P, in terms of T, the years since 1990, and then what does your model predict the moose population to be in 2006? So here, I'm going to be looking for an equation, and then I'm going to plug 2006 into my equation. So first thing I notice is it says P in terms of T's. This is my X's. This is my Y's. The year since 1990. So that means T equals 0 at 1990. A lot of times when you're working with problems like this, you're not going to use numbers like the years. They normally slow them down and put them into numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3. So in 1991, the population is measured to be 4,570. So I'm going to use T equals 1 to represent that population. So this is the year. This is the population. By 1996, the population is measured again to be 5520. If the population continues to change linearly, find a formula. So this is going to be T equal to 6. So again, t's are my x values, so I have two x values, I have two y values, so I'm going to say slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is going to be my x1, x2, y1, y2, set it up, 55.20 minus 45.70, use your calculator to help you with this arithmetic, 6 minus 1 gives me... 950 over 5, which gives me 190. So therefore, my slope is 190. That's how much the population is increasing each year. Do your point slope form. So y minus y1 equal to m of x minus x1. If you like y equals mx plus b, do that. It'll still work. So y minus 4570 equal to 190 
x minus 1. Distribute y minus 4570 equal to 190x minus 190. And then add this over. So it gives me y equal to 190x plus, make sure I got my numbers right here, 4570 minus 190. So it gives me 4380. So that would be my part one. Make sure I use my correct variable. So I'm going to say 190t plus 4380 because they're using t and p. Excuse me. Couldn't really see that as we went. Then it says, what does your model predict the moose population to be in 2006? So, again, let's go back to what we're doing right here. So if I want to use 2006, notice from 1990, that would be 16 years. So that's going to be what I'm plugging in right here for the X, or the T, as we put in our equation up here. Figure out, some say, 190 times 16 plus 4380. Plug that into our calculator. Use parentheses where you need them. And that gives me 7,420. So let's say 7,420. And that makes sense that it was increasing over the six years by about 900. So over 16 years, we would see this kind of increase. So you want to be able to take your all the information they give you, see what you're working with. But you can see we still did slope and our point slope form, or if you like y equals mx plus b, it would have found you the same information as well. Next one, a rental car company, a rental car company charges $30 plus 45 cents per mile. Which of the following can be used to model? Now, whenever you're given multiple choices like this, figure out what you have and then go match it up. So I'm going to pay $30 once. 45 cents per mile means I'm going to pay 0.45 times the mile. This is in a dollar amount. So we make sure our cents are in a dollar amount. I don't want to use 45 cents. This looks like $4.50. So this would be the correct answer. The total cost of driving 325 miles. Now we need to evaluate 0.45 times 325 plus 30. Plug all that in your calculator and you get 176.25. So with this one, it was just a matter of making sure we set it up correctly, make sure we have the right units, and then evaluating with it. One more problem. Let's see, it says a cell phone carrier charges a fixed monthly fee plus a constant rate for each minute used. In January, the total cost for 350 minutes, so let's just kind of make a table of what we know, 350 minutes was $61. So this is my cost minute. The total cost for 275 minutes was $56.50. The constant charge for each minute used is. So we're looking for our slope. So I'm going to use the two pieces of information like their coordinates. So this would be my x1, x2, y1, y2. Then we're going to work from there. So I'm going to do my slope formula. So I'm doing my change in cost over my change in minutes. So that would be 56.5 minus 61 over 275 minus 350. This gives me negative 4.5 over negative 75, just using my calculator, which gives me 0 0.06. So my slope is 0 0.06. The fixed monthly charge, so that's going to be my y-intercept, would be what? So we've got to work all the way through it like we did in that first example. So I'm say y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. Plug in all my information. So y minus 61 equal to 0 0.06 times x minus 350. Distribute. Let's see, 0 0.06 times 350 gives me negative 21. And then add 61. So this has, gives me 0.06x plus 40. And so the question says, what's the fixed monthly fee? That would be that plus 40. But you can see I couldn't have figured that out without having to find my equation. So this problem was a little bit different because it didn't ask us for an equation like it did in the first example. But it did have us address and find the different parts.
So identify the information you have, create the linear function, you can go with it, and I hope this helps you with the homework as you go. I think there's only three or four problems in that assignment. Um, if you need any help along the way, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you with that.